It's been a little over two weeks since this card arrived. It has been in my main workstation for the entire time. This background video was actually my daughter playing on this card on my workstation, and the footage was recorded through AMD, Relive, Relive, whatever. The graphics card has rendered every video and live stream on this channel and my company's social media. It's been gamed on for hours by both me and my daughter, and it's been really put through its paces over the last few weeks, and I found out a few things. I have purchased several and have had customers and friends get them for their budget PCs. Everyone I've had my hands on shows up in GPU-Z as an AMD RX 5700 XT without a specific AIB identifier. But no matter how optimistic we want to be, while Soyo is an actual motherboard maker and even makes full PCs, they are not an official board partner in any region. So is this just a used card with a BIOS flash and a rebrand then? This specific card actually showed up as an Asus. However, Asus doesn't have a card with this white PCB, and this PCB was clearly new, and so was the rest of the card. All the Soyo cards seem to ship with the same reference spec BIOS used by a bunch of the blower model cards. So it seems they source GPU dies from whatever model they can, solder it to a new PCB, flash a reference BIOS on it, and it's essentially a new card with a used GPU die. And I am okay with that. At the time of making this, Soyo rebuilt cards can be found on AliExpress for as low as $125, and used cards on eBay are $75 to $100 more at the time of writing this. And quite frankly, as someone who's been doing computer repair and IT for over 20 years at this point, I have rarely seen a graphics card die from the GPU actually failing, or the GPU die actually failing. Now, there are some niche cases with some of those new GPUs that are apparently exploding, but most cases, when your graphics card dies, it's something on the PCB. Nothing to do with the GPU die itself. Be careful of some of the other brands, though, as this one here is clearly just an MSI Gaming X model with some new fan stickers. At least most of these sellers, though, are semi-transparent. The obvious rebrands are listed as refurbished or used, and the rebuilt cards with salvaged dies are listed as new, similar to what is done with the Socket 2011 motherboards made with salvaged chipsets. More evidence that the Soyo cards are all new PCBs. The only 6000 series or newer cards I could find with the Soyo branding was a bunch of 6600M cards, um, which many Chinese board makers had been converting to desktop cards during the GPU shortage. Newer cards like the 6000 or 7000 series are not going to have a large enough supply of salvaged dies to feed a factory making rebuilt cards, at least not yet. So most of what you're going to find above a 6600M are going to be all used cards with just a sticker rebranding. So now that we know a little bit more about the origins of this card, how does it perform? Well great, it's rendered every video on this channel, it games as it should, and temps are what you would expect. It's a great experience, especially for under $150. Well, it can be after you install Afterburner or some other OC tool. The shipped BIOS is very power restricted, but one slider can fix that. While max frames didn't seem to be affected that much, the minimum increased greatly and it held a solid 2 GHz plus. Some of the initial reviews mention it runs a bit hot, and if your only reference was Firmark, then you'd probably be concerned, but Afterburner, GPU-Z, and Hardware Info all showed 10 to 20 degrees lower than what Firmark reported, even on the hot spots. So crank Afterburner at your own risk, but to me, it's been a beast of a card, especially at sub $150. Now, as far as Afterburner goes, these cards are a true silicon lottery. The GPU die could have been a golden sample binned by an AIB, or it could have been pulled from a basic card from Dell or HP sold in a pre-built which is probably why they flashed such a conservative power limit on it. So my results may not be typical. So do I still recommend this card? Well, yes, especially when factoring price to performance. I am driving native resolution, no FSR, and I'm using ultra-wide 1440p displays. The pixel count on these are closer to a 4K, and I'm getting solid performance at high settings. However, since I started writing this over the last two days, prices on graphics cards have started to drop. You can get a new Power Color 6600 for only 27 ish more than the Soyo Model M. Now, the M variant can match the non M in performance at a much lower power draw and a little bit lower price, but you're still having to tweak Afterburner and wait three weeks for the card to arrive, whereas the Power Color arrives at your door in three days from Amazon. The 7600 can now be had for sub $260 
while I'll continue to order these cards for now as the 7600 and 6600 continue to drop, these cards need to keep dropping as well, otherwise the risk isn't worth the reward. The card itself is rock solid though, so the decision for you should come down to pricing in your region. But that is it for this low quality video, I will see you guys next time.